good morning students so today we are going to discuss that is the drawbacks or you can say limitations of bohr's atomic model so bohr's atomic model basically when we are uh, just dealing so this bohr's atomic model is only valid for hydrogen atom or you can say hydrogen like species means if an atom consists more than one electron so its line spectra couldn't explain by this model so this model you can say is totally based on one electron species like hydrogen or you can say helium plus 1 you can say lithium plus 2 or you can say beryllium plus 3 so if any species or any atom have more than one electron so this model cannot explain its line spectra so you can say that this bohr's atomic model is only valid for hydrogen atom or hydrogen like species but the, uh, the experimental data is also varying for these uh, cases so you can say that this bohr's atomic model is only valid for hydrogen atom okay so this is its uh, first limitation so the second one this model couldn't explain the presence of multiple spectral lines so as we can see there are spectral lines but under these lines there are also ultra fine lines you can say ultra fine spectrum so this is also cannot explain by bohr's atomic model so this couldn't explain the presence of multiple spectral lines so the spectrum can consist of a very fine lines so this couldn't explain by this bohr's model so the third one is de broglie hypothesis means dual nature of electron de broglie suggests that electron have a dual nature one is a particle nature and one is a wave nature so this couldn't explain by bohr's model because bohr consists bohr considered electron as a moving particle means bohr just considered electron as a particle as well as electron as a wave by the different uh, the experiment like uh, deviation germer experiment also shown that electron is a wave so similarly de broglie give a hypothesis that electron can behave as a dual nature means it will show particle nature as well as wave nature but bohr considered electron as a moving particle because uh, by this bohr's model he calculated its velocity radius okay everything so this is also the limitation that de broglie hypothesis cannot explain by bohr's model so the next one is bohr's model couldn't explain the heisenberg uncertainty uncertainty principle means this is the principle which we will deal in our very next lecture so heisenberg tells us that if any microscopic moving particle if any particle is very microscopic means very small and if it is moving so its position and momentum cannot be explained this is a particle if it is microscopic and moving so then its position as well as its momentum simultaneously you cannot measure both accurately so bohr's calculate the radius means the position and he also calculated the velocity of electron in nth cell so this is also its limitation that bohr couldn't explain the heisenberg uncertainty principle so the next one is the splitting of spectral lines in magnetic field means what are the spectral lines these spectral lines are splitting in presence of magnetic field this splitting of this spectral lines in magnetic field this effect is known as zeeman effect and in presence of electric field these uh, spectral lines also splitted and this effect is known as stark effect so these two effect couldn't explain by this bohr's model so this is also its uh, limitations so you can note these all so similarly this is all uh, drawbacks so you can note you can make your notes with this uh, limitations and for the last you, there is a question for you you can solve it so the ratio of wavelength of the last line of balmer and the lyman series is what there are four options you can choose the correct one and you have to give the full solution you can solve it so you have to calculate the wavelength of the last line of balmer and the last line of lyman so what will be the ratio you can give your answer so we will meet in a next video that will be totally based on heisenberg as well as de broglie so now there is a dual nature now the theories will come on the dual nature of the electron and finally we will move towards our quantum aspects so till then you can note this uh, problem and you have to submit this uh, solution of this as well as the drawbacks of the bohr's atomic model so this is the drawbacks so uh, till then thank you and have a nice day